All right, here we got, okay, I'm getting hit with snow. Here we got Duke. Hey, Duke, how you doing? Oh, I'm not begging. We're not begging right now. You gotta relax. See, that's his trick he's been working on. So I've been working with Duke for about two and a half weeks. This is week three right now. Uh, that's it. Pull it up to the top so it gets braced, and we're gonna go for a nice heel walk here. Okay, heel. See, all right. Oh, we got a big truck coming. All right. All right, righty, righty. We're gonna wait here. Okay. Duke, sit. Ah, Duke. Good boy. Okay, yeah. So, Duke is a, a four-year-old Bernice mountain dog. So this weather right now is his paradise, right, Duke? Yeah. So, he's real responsive to the walkie. He enjoys it a lot. So, as you can tell, it's a, so this is one of his trigger houses right here. There's a German Shepherd that barks a lot. They have an invisible fence, however, so we're never worried about it getting out. However, he'll start whimpering and doing stuff like that if the German Shepherd is out. But when you see that kind of stuff, you just keep walking, you know? Gotta give him some corrections. It's okay, good boy, good heel. Hey, Duke. So he goes a little too ahead, and that's fine, like I said. Uh-uh. So we stop him. Now, are you not yanking him? That's the important part. You're not yanking your dog. You're having him sit. Uh-uh. He's four years old, so he's got some ingrained walking again. Like, that didn't get him what he wanted, but now we can continue. I give him the command, heel. Good boy. Give him a little treat for staying with me. And then, you know, I lock him in. Hold here. See how there's not... Oops, sorry for stepping on you. I stepped on his little booty. So, you know, there's slack on this leash. It doesn't have to be, he doesn't have to be right here on my ankle the whole time. As long as he's not pulling me. Hey, Duke. Good boy. Good boy. Here you go. Duke. What are you doing, you Duke? Hey. Good boy, heel. Good boy. Good boy, as you can see, once he sees the reward, his motivator, he does even better. Good boy. So he knows they're going to be stubborn with you, especially when you're working against a dog that has some built-in behaviors, you know, that he, you're working against. So you always have to keep that in mind. So you have to make this sort of thing enjoyable for him, too. You have to offset the fact that he has some walks that he's done in the past. Uh, that he was able to do a little bit more, have a little more control, and that was fun for him. So you don't want to make this something he's going to hate and not look forward to. When I showed up today, Duke was wagging his tail, trying to give me kisses, looking at me, running around, whimpering, ready to go for this walk, because he's looking forward to it. He loves this. So but you just got as the, his alpha, you have to take control and be like, hey, look, we're going to do what you enjoy, but we're going to do it in a way that's structured, because it's better for you, and it's better for me, and they'll pick up on that. They really will. They, I can't stress that enough. From what I've noticed with all the dogs that I've worked with, that once I send some clear signals, they pick up, oh, this dude's got my back. They fall right into place. I've yet to run into a dog that I can't get that to happen to. Mind you, I know there are dogs out there that I will run into that I won't be able to get this. But even with ingrained behavioral issues, if you let your dog understand, you can repair a lot with love. So it's very important. Because Duke knows I love him. Yes, he does. Those are that right, me. Duke. Oh, good boy, heel. Good boy. See the correction? See how he goes to the, the exact spot when the reward comes up? I mean, that's how you know he knows exactly. But on the entirety of the walk, I call it a loose heel. A loose heel. Because you don't need to. We're not doing a competition walk with him right now. I'm, not, I, I'm never taking him to a competition. This is for a family to walk their dog and enjoy their walk and have an enjoyable time. Really, he should be able to be walked by a child. They have a seven-year-old, I think, and a 12-year-old, and a five-year-old. My ultimate goal is to be able to make it so that seven-year-old can walk him without worry about this dog pulling her across the street with small signals, because you don't, I don't need to yank him. Hey, uh-uh, and slow down. Good boy. Sit. Duke. Mm -mm. Good boy. Heel. I am burning up. Okay. And the bad decision went too much close. Woo! Alright. How are we gonna do this? Pause this for a second. 